Credit Suisse chairman and former Lloyd's boss Antonio Orta Osorio has quit, after breaking strict isolation rules to go to Wimbledon. It comes less than a year after Orta Osorio, 57, was hired to help the bank deal with the implosion of collapsed investment firm Archegos and the insolvency of British supply chain finance company Greens Hill Capital. It was still reeling from the 2020 exit of CEO to John Tiam over a spying scandal. The problems triggered multi-billion dollar losses and sackings at Switzerland's number two bank, and Orta Osorio unveiled a new strategy in November to rein in its investment bankers and curb a freewheeling culture. But Orta Osorio's personal conduct has recently come under scrutiny over breaching COVID-19 quarantine rules. In a statement issued by Credit Suisse on Monday, Orta Osorio said, I regret that a number of my personal actions have led to difficulties for the bank and compromised my ability to represent the bank internally and externally. I therefore believe that my resignation is in the interest of the bank and its stakeholders at this crucial time," added Orta Osorio, the former CEO of Lloyd's. Orta Osorio, was titled Britain's best paid banker in 2018 when he earned a staggering £6.5 million at Lloyd's. He was knighted in the Queen's birthday honours for his services to the British economy and for mental health awareness. Credit Suisse said Orta Osorio resigned following an investigation commissioned by the board and that board member Axel Lehman had become its chairman with immediate effect. Justin Tang head of Asian research at investment advisor United First Partners in Singapore, said, it has been in the damaged goods section for a while now. While Orta was responsible for the new strategy, his short tenure means that the revamp is likely to only be in the nascent stages. Advertisement The irony of it is that Orta was hired to fix the reputational damage to Credit Suisse and revamp its risk-taking culture in the bank. In December a preliminary internal bank investigation had found that Orta Osorio attended the Wimbledon tennis finals in London in July without following Britain's quarantine rules. Orta Osorio also broke COVID-19 rules on a visit to Switzerland in November by leaving the country during a 10-day quarantine period, the bank said in December. Public scrutiny of the actions of politicians and athletes has increased amid COVID-19 curbs as governments push to get their population vaccinated. superstar Novak Djokovic flew out of Australia on Sunday after a court upheld the government's decision to cancel his visa, capping days of drama over the country's COVID-19 entry rules and his unvaccinated status. And Prime Minister Boris Johnson is under pressure to resign after admitting he attended staff drinks during the May 2020 lockdown. After 
Credit Suisse said Orta Osorio had broken COVID-19 rules in late November, David Harrow, deputy chairman at Harris, the third biggest investor in the bank, said the chairman still retained his absolute support. Credit Suisse said on Monday that Lehman, the board and the executive board would continue to implement the bank's strategy. We have set the right course with a new strategy and will continue to embed a stronger risk culture, Lehman, who was elected to the board in October, said in the bank's statement. Lehman spent over 10 years at rival UBS, where his roles included helming its Swiss personal and corporate banking unit after nearly two decades at Zurich Insurance Group. Reeling from a disastrous year, Credit Suisse posted a 21% fall in its third quarter profit last year and warned of a loss for the final three months of 2021. UBS, Switzerland's largest bank, however posted its highest quarterly profit in six years in the third quarter. Credit Suisse shares have shed 23% over the past one year, while UBS shares have soared 33% to their highest in four years. Orta Osorio's sudden exit demoralized staff at Credit Suisse, with some questioning what was next for the bank. What a waste and again we make the headlines for the wrong reason, a senior Credit Suisse private banker said on condition of anonymity as he was not allowed to speak to media. In between we froze for one year waiting for the new strategy from the new man, he said.